Hi guys, welcome to Senfolio. Thank you for tuning in. Today we have a banger summer clone. Here it is from the fragrance world, Essence de Blanc. This guy is cloning Louis Vuitton's imagination. Let's get into this. All right, so this is obviously going to be a first impression. I have no idea how this cloning, how well this cloning is done. The good thing is, ah, beautiful presentation, man. This is exclusive. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Pretty decent, nice, huge casing. Oh, nice. We got a bit of details with the notes breakdown here on the side. Fragrance World, that logo in the back, the back of like a iPhone uh, case. <laughs> bit of a details there. Nothing on this side. This looks beautiful, premium. Let's see what we. Oh, nice. Okay, look, <laughs> look at this presentation. So they've got a. This is how it stands, guys. So, look at this beautiful stuff, man. This is premium. This is solid. This is exclusive. Is, it, is this even a clone? It is a clone. <laughs> All right, for the presentation, <clears throat> nice looking, sexy bottle here, man. Nice, heavy, good stuff here. Look at this guy. Oh boy, nice solid. This is solid. Good, nice um, cap there. Beautiful. I like what I see. Don't you? This is this is premium. Pretty unisex bottle. Pretty artistic. Nice, um, you know, all sorts of uh, gray, black, golden designing there. Pattern. Good stuff. Fragrance by as usual. Put the notes here down on the side. Pretty cool, eh? Good stuff. I like what I see. Good thing here is I've got a 5 ml of imagination. The OG, which I'm going to be comparing this guy with. And in the end of the video, this guy, you know what I do. This is going out to one of you guys. So comment, subscribe, of course, to participate in the comment. What are your good scents that you're liking from Fragrance World? Or any other Middle Eastern brand, but preferably Fragrance World, because this house is not failing to go slow. Each entry, every other entry, well, there are a few crappy ones at the same time, but mostly they're, they're focusing on the premium packaging, premium juice quality, nice twists and turns, even if they are cologning. All right, so let's get into this guy. I did, I did test a strip if, uh, at my dealer's place when I was getting this, and it's it smells amazing. One of the one of the finest summer entries, summer musks that I would say right off the bat, even before spraying this guy. But yeah, let's do a uh, side by side. So let me spray this guy here and let me spray I know I gotta be respectful <laughs> I'm not gonna waste this right here two sprays here all right this is on the side now this is not my property anymore <laughs> all right so at this point of time I haven't stiffed my hand as yet. But this room, this room is, I'm not, this, this is not a worldly room, guys. This is not on earth anymore. It's, it's in the air, it's in the sky. It's in, it's in some kind of a valley, like valley of florals and Nice amber, very aromatic, 
beautiful. And the florals are not even heavy, not even overkilling. And not even one or two. You know, if there are one or two florals, you can say that they're pulling you off towards you and you can actually, you know, you can detect what kind of floral. What, what, what kind of floral note this is? This is more like a bouquet. This is more like a, a garden, actually. It's not, it's not a sweet scent. Let's get that out of the way. It is a freshie, but I get warm spices and I get fresh spices at the same time. I get, I get lotion-y vibe here. That mess, that kind of like a moisturizer lotion-y vibe, but nice, like cool, sophisticated, like pretty elegant lotion here. I get something green. It's not from the, it's not, yeah, obviously it's more like a floral, garden-y, not earthy green, not earthy at all. But yes, green on the, on the good side, on the cooler side of the green. Boy, this is interesting. 100% absolutely. Hold on, let me just double check the, the OG. Okay, this is not lotion-y. This is floral, green florals. Same thing, same thing, but I'm getting a little more amber here in this guy. At this point, I'm getting a little more amber here with the OG, and I'm getting a little bit lotion, that nice lo exclusive lotion-y vibe with everything else citrusy it's bright it is citrusy but on a, in a mellow citrus in a more sparkly way in not one of those zingy or zesty or pungent way no 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 more sparkly way more creamy lotiony lemony orangish mandarinish Excellent. Same thing here. Actually, this is a little more strong. This is a little more dense. This is a little more watery notes here. Of what I can detect. Apart from that, everything is the same. That beautiful floral muskiness is here. Citri citrus, citri, citrusiness is here. But again, not loud. Very dense. This is a bit, this is a little bit on the sweeter side as well. A little bit. But yeah, oh yeah, hold on. The lotion-y side is coming here. Yeah, at this point, I haven't detected anything ambery in this guy. But here it's more of a, like a more complete, like ambery, a bit sweet, a little citrusy, lotiony, nice aromatic. <sighs> Good florals, beautiful florals. I, honestly speaking, guys, I am not a floral guy. I'll be honest with you. I, that's a one or you know, the few florals that I just run away from, and uh, even not a very floral guy. Uh, I'm more into dense and deep, dark notes. It's beautiful. This is amazing. Pretty much neck to neck. I would say 85% same as this guy. This is 80 to 85%. I would still leave that 15, 20 percent of margin. Up until the uh, up until this this time, I haven't actually explored or actually worn this this fragrance of full wear. Given this uh, fragrance of full wear. Only the time that I tested it, that was about it, but then I tested a few other stuff at the same time. So I can't do justice uh, based on my memory, um, uh, memory smell. Now this is good stuff. This is 
This is enjoyable, man. This is your day starter. Ladies and gents, pretty unisex. You guys will rock this hard and you guys need to rock this hard if you guys get grab your hands on this. There's nothing um, dense or nothing um, hard about this guy. This is again, very airy, very aromatic, very light. For a light move. <sighs> This is good stuff. Let's get into the notes. So I'll just keep this down here for now. Uh, citron, bergamot, orange. Sorry, here. That citron fades away, I think in the, in the first few minutes, but the orange is there. It, and it's a, it's a different model. It's a it's a Sicilian orange, by the way. It's pretty cool. Not 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 loud, not fizzy, but pretty dense. I think that is a dense orange. Then we've got ginger. Actually, I can't really detect ginger here. Even if it is, it's just maybe to keep the florals grounded. Hence the reason florals are not bright up in the nose or uh, like everywhere it's not like a bouquet or a garden shop you're carrying around while you're in, in, in your aroma or in your space of in your bubble of scent no that is not the case here as i said you can't pinpoint a floral here you can't it's just it's just so smoothly blended so they've Probably that's why they're using a different kind of neroli here. This is a Tunisian neroli. And they're using a different kind of cinnamon here. Ceylon cinnamon. They're using a different kind of ginger here, which is Nigerian ginger. They're using a black tea, which is a Chinese black tea. And then there's Imbroxin. Alibinum Gayak wood. Beautiful notes here. Not pretty rare, unique, not rare, but unique notes. Yes. And quality stuff. Ginger, again, this is more like a kind of a sweet take on ginger. And ginger is very mellow. And I think it's good that they, that they did put ginger because that is keeping the florals. Actually, that's adding a, a more dense vibe to the florals, which is even sexier. Tunisian neroli. Neroli is is one thing that I now neroli is a technical note, by the way. Either you you love it's a love or hate. Either you're gonna adore this, or you're just gonna run away and not be seen. <laughs> it just puts you off, if not done in a in a in a well mannered way. But here, I'm loving this. Neroli, you, yeah, actually you're making the florals go proud here, by the way. Then we've got Ceylon cinnamon. I can, I can smell some cinnamon. Black tea, Chinese black tea, I'm sorry. That's the greener side of, of the scent. And Broxin, we, we all know Broxin. Nice ambery touch. Alibnum, Gayak wood should be there in the uh, dry down. I'm not sure at this point of time, but this is love off the summer. That's what I would title this guy as. What I'm gonna do. This is a good sprayer, guys. This is a good burst, good sprayer. This is good experience. This is good aroma overall. Although we don't use this this word unless it's it's for food. <laughs> this is this is good good bubble space of uh, of the of the scent profile, which is 
Really good, man. Really good. I haven't seen anything like this. Louis Vuitton is obviously known for their good stuff. Look at their Nomad, Omri Nomad. Look at their um, other stuff. Their imagination. I've been waiting for this to put my nose on this guy. And um, the fragrance rolls. Kudos to you guys who actually did this in such a well mannered way. And then while comparing this side by side, it's even better. All right, for now, I think I've got nose mine because it's all over me, it's on my hands as well at the same time. So now I think it's the time for me to take a break and get out of here, get out of the house actually, do my thing, whatever I need to do, and come back and maybe round things up with more details on this. And in the meantime, someone, some of, the, uh, some of my guy, uh, one of my subscribers told me, do not feel shy to say hit that like button. And do not feel feel shy to actually tell people to actually pause. Hold on, gotta subscribe. This whole hard work is done for your subscription, honestly, because it shouldn't be a one-time interaction, should it? Be? No, it should be. I should be visiting you more often, and and I'm doing it, creating more content for you guys. If and I really want, you know, I, it's all. You know what? Reviews are not going nowhere. I would encourage you to watch 10 videos of same fragrance. Touch upon every reviewer because you will get something, some bit of an addition to your information from everyone. It's not about this is good or this is bad or this is more useful, this is useless. No, we all speak differently, but, it, but, but our language is the same if you know what I mean. And just pick those points that is important to you because in the end of the day it's your hard earned money that you're going to spend off and you know kind of uh it should it should it should bring value home that's what i uh, believe in obviously uh, as i said i'm more of a reviewee than a reviewer so i've always been on that side of the camera and i was you know i mean whatever collection that i have i've got two other stands just like this on this side and this side uh, it, from time is by watching the reviews, so and by watching everyone's reviews, and picked up something from someone, and it has helped me, you know, making decisions on my uh, investment. So yeah, I'll so this is an bit. enjoyable Take year. Care. I mean, hands down, I really enjoy the fragrance. To round things up, this is a good fresh floral um, scent. Um, I did research about this guy during this break time this is supposedly uh a man a masculine like you know fragrance for men which i kind of like um disagree because i think this is perfectly perfectly unisex because neroli is something that we all enjoy like boys and girls like you know mature audience either sex they love this. I mean, Neroli is a note that actually mesmerizes pretty much everybody, if done right. And uh, and it, it is an expensive note, by the way. The reason why Neroli scents are pretty high priced, whether it's uh, you know Tom Ford's uh, line or um, you know Louis Vuitton or any other house that does Neroli, that it, one it has to be done in a you know pretty smooth way, and then secondly, it is you know prices are pretty jacked up high. Again, back on this guy, um, this is a fresh floral. It is important to add floral uh, with the freshness because if you don't, then it's not a fresh fragrance. The citruses are not up high to that level where it reaches the freshy category. It does not. It is a musky scent. So it's fresh floral that I would say. And um, again, uh, the, the I think, I think that the uh, Nigerian ginger and uh, Ceylon cinnamon is doing wonders here. That is actually something that you enjoy after four, I think three to four hours of mark of the life of the scent because then it, that's something then the, you know, comes, you know, these notes are shining after like three to four hours when the imbroxin, this scent changes into an imbroxin scent and the beautiful cedar woods that we have in this guy pops out and that is actually so mesmerizing because at this point of time it's good in longevity by the way the scent is pretty decent on long longevity i would say it's a seven to 
eight hours of fragrance and after like four or three and a half to four hours of mark this becomes um you know obviously the uh, the floral notes take a back seat and this is more of a embroxen woody um and um musky a beautiful scent overall a good day scent a day starter i would say keeps you pleasant in the mood in the right space and you're gonna enjoy this weird and people around you are actually gonna pick up and really enjoy this scent this is nothing offensive about the scent absolute buy, blind buy great job done by for again uh fragrance buy because honestly speaking between comparing this with the og while comparing it with this guy this is more intense i would say this is more concentrated the yeah i i guess that would be the right word because the intensity of the projection was high in this guy as compared to this guy yeah yeah i think the neroli note is a little jacked up in this guy it's a bit pumped up i would say amped up yeah yeah so this is more musky this is pretty balanced this is also balanced but just a bit high in neroli actually it's a combination of neroli and citruses to be honest because this this that that i think citruses that is not leaving the scent it is toned down it's sitting it's, it's taking a back seat though but there's something not neroli neroli is there like it's there since start till the end like whole life of the scent it's there because it is a middle note complementing the opening and the bride down but i think it's a it, it's it is a probably the the orange note that i would say because that is something that pops out later in this guy because the initial blast is of uh, bergamot and citron so i think that plays uh, orange is kind of like playing a role with neroli in the mids up until the dry, dry down <sighs> or it could be also gayak but no but the wittiness is yeah it's pretty cool anyways cedar is basically not not listed as a note but i do get cedar wood combined with the gayak wood i think gayak wood is the the reason why there's a bit of a powderiness and a creaminess but just on a very minimal like 10 to 10 15 percent anyways overall good starter good summer banger ladies and gents i would say even ladies come on you i mean try this and i'm not sure how much this is i'm gonna link this uh the you know the the link where i got this from and it's a, a frag bar basically uh it's it is in uh, um, toronto and they're shipping it out to uh to us as well um but then if you're in us then you've got triple traders and wood store over there as well as shipping it locally um but yeah i mean uh, feel free and also use aromatics code needs code um uh for for discounts um um, no good stuff here um, I like what I smell and I'm a happy man this imagination 5 ml uh, thingy is basically going out for as a giveaway all you got to do is subscribe to the channel of course <clears throat> let your friends know let your family know like you know tag them or send them links or whatnot uh, make sure they participate and uh, just put your scent, you know, your your good scent down from Fragrance World that you want to see or reviews off or any other Middle Eastern scent that you want to talk about. <clears throat> let me know and then I can let you know something and then we can all learn and grow together. This guy, it will be going out in a one week time. I'm not sure what the date would be by the time this video gets edited and uploaded. But uh, keep a track on uh, my shorts because that's where I actually, uh, you know, announce the dates and, you know, when is the date of the giveaway ending? When is it, you know, due and all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, make sure you participate because, you know, just take it away, man. Uh, <laughs> and watch for more. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm.